Hi everyone, I'm going to show you the Desmos Polygraph learning activity. First go to teacher.desmos.com and we recommend that you sign in with your Google credentials. Use your uh, Series USD Google address and uh, they have a lot of new math learning activities for your students. I'm going to show you Polygraph Lines today which is an interactive partner activity that students use on their Chromebooks. If you go to the teacher dashboard you get a join code for your class activity. You can have a different join code for each class period if you're secondary. The dashboard includes uh, real-time updates on how the students are doing with the activity. You can see whether they get the answers right or wrong, and you can see which questions they're asking. If you click this anonymizer button, it will replace their names with fake names of famous mathematicians. So you can actually project this uh, onto your screen so your students can see it without embarrassing them. When your students log in, they enter the class code and click the Join button. They should also log in with Google. I should remind you that Desmos is fully approved uh, for district use, so totally OK for them to log in and use it for instructional purposes. And uh, they'll go through an introductory activity. This is optional, but uh, they can learn how to ask each other questions with their uh, partner that's randomly selected by the program. And here I'm going to put two separate student windows side by side. These students will be matched up randomly by the program. And one partner begins the game by selecting one of the graphs. They can pick any graph they like. The other partner then attempts to guess which graph their partner has selected um, by asking a series of yes or no questions. So this is kind of like 20 questions. The student has to think of some creative questions that will hopefully filter this down. Uh, here, one partner receives the questions, gets a yes or no answer, and then the other partner can then eliminate some of the choices based on the answer to the yes or no question. The partner then can take another turn to ask another yes or no question. And you can see uh, the, the other student can read the question in real time as it's being typed. Again, there's yes or no. In this case, the student's going to click no. And then the partner can eliminate some more of the graphs based on the answers to that question. And now I'm going to ask a question that might not have a really clear answer or might not be a, a very well asked question. And there is the option of clicking, I don't know. And that just says that uh, this question really didn't help me. I can't really answer it. And then the student gets uh, prompted to maybe ask a separate, another question again. <laughs> so the partners continue asking questions of each other and eliminating more and more uh, choices until they finally zero in on the correct answer. Um, but uh, this is an opportunity to demonstrate some creativity and it's a little bit uh, a little bit of a competitive aspect because it uh, there is an expectation that they try to solve it in fewer and fewer questions. Uh, here's a nice feature in between rounds. The student has some practice and this just reinforces uh, some of the concepts of asking good questions. And we know that that's not an easy concept for a lot of our students to be able to think critically and uh, ask good questions that will discriminate between the different answer choices. So everybody gets these sorts of, uh, I call them tune-ups uh, in between rounds. And uh, then as soon as both partners complete those questions, then they will be randomly assigned uh, possibly to a different partner, whoever's available at that moment. And so the students can keep on repeating in this fashion and playing over and over again until the teacher decides that uh, uh, enough time has elapsed just a preview of one of the many activities that are available for free at desmos.com. Uh, again, go to teacher.desmos.com uh, to see uh, what other activities are available for your grade level and your subject area. And uh, there's even uh, a place where you can create your own activities based on one of their templates. Um, so we hope you've enjoyed this preview of desmos.com. If you'd like more information, contact your ed tech specialist.